Capital Bike Share is a great way to get around the city, but there are some important things you need to know that I'm going to tell you about in this video. And make sure to stick around to the end for some bonus Capital Bike Share hacks. Hello, welcome to Trip Hacks DC. My name is Rob. I'm a tour guide here in the nation's capital. If you're coming to Washington DC and you're looking for the best tips, tricks, and hacks for exploring the city, make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss anything. And if you're interested in having me show you around, head on over to my website, triphacksdc.com, afterwards to see what I offer. If you've used Capital Bike Share or a bike sharing system in another city and have any tips or hacks you want to share, leave a comment on this video and let me know. Otherwise, before we talk about how to ride Capital Bike Share, let's talk about something equally important which is when you shouldn't use the system. The reason I bring this up is because before I made this video, I looked on Yelp and found a very large number of negative reviews for Capital Bike Share, and it seems like there are a lot of people who are using it when they really should be using a regular bike rental. Here are three main reasons why you don't want to use Capital Bike Share. First, if you need a bike for an extended period of time, don't use bike share. These bike sharing systems were designed for short hops and one-way trips from one part of the city to another. We'll talk about the pricing in a moment, but basically what you need to know is that if you want to go on a long bike ride, bike share is not a good option. Second, if you have kids, don't use bike share. You have to be at least 16 years old to ride these bikes, and honestly, they're just way too big for most kids. And please don't put small children in the baskets on the front of the Capital Bike Share bikes. This might seem totally obvious to most of you, but I see it way too often. And it's not just against the rules, it's really unsafe. Third, if you need helmets, locks, or other accessories, don't use bike share. With Capital Bike Share, you get a bike and that's it. If you need anything else, you should try a place like Bike and Roll, where you can get bikes of all sizes, helmets, locks, trailers for kids, and other goodies. I'll leave a link to Bike and Roll in the description. Now, let's talk about how the pricing works. Unfortunately, the pricing is not exactly straightforward if you've never used a bike sharing system like this before. The cost to ride is basically the membership fee plus the usage fee. Let's talk about the membership fee first, which you can think of as the fee you pay just to get access to the bikes. There are a few options here. Right now you can pay $2 for a single ride, $8 for a 24 hour membership, $17 for a 3 day membership, or $85 for a 1 year membership. For a typical visitor, any of the first three will be more than fine, but you do need to do a little bit of math to figure out which option is going to be best for you. And I'll leave a little cheat sheet in the description to help you figure that out. Then there's the usage fee, which is what you pay based on how long you keep the bike checked out. And this is where it starts to get confusing for a lot of people. If you check out a bike, ride it around, and return it to a dock within 30 minutes, you'll pay no additional fee. However, if you ride it for longer than 30 minutes, you'll pay $2 for that first half hour, then an additional $4 for the next half hour, then an additional $8 for each half hour that you keep the bike checked out. So if you take a bike, ride it around for say 3 hours and 10 minutes, and then return it, you'll pay $38 in usage fees plus the membership fee that you already paid when you started. I can totally understand how this is confusing to someone who did limited or no research, shows up and sees a 24 hour pass for $8 and thinks, great deal, unlimited bike riding for eight bucks. Hopefully now that you've seen this, you won't make a rookie mistake like that. To avoid getting upcharged, it is imperative that you keep each of your rides to 30 minutes or less. Use Capital Bike Share to get from point A to point B not for joyriding around the city. Okay, now that we've covered that, let's head outside and I'm gonna show you how to actually use the system. You can start at any Capital Bike Share station. Approach the kiosk and press the Rent a Bike button. First thing it will ask you to do is swipe your credit card. After that, it's going to show you a warning about the usage fees. You can click Yes to accept since you're well versed now about how that works. Then you pick what kind of membership you want to buy. For this video, I did a single trip. You can take either one or two bikes per credit card, but if you select two, you will pay double. If you have a gift certificate, you can enter it on this screen, but most visitors probably won't. It's going to give you a summary of the transaction and the initial price. Press OK when you're ready. The next two screens are where you enter the phone number and billing zip code associated with your credit card. After that, you'll confirm that you are 18 years or older, and then finally, you'll have to read the terms of service. Click OK when you're finished. Next, you'll be given the choice to either view the bike code on the screen or print a receipt with the code on it. If you have a good memory, you can view it. Otherwise, you can print it like I did. Take your code to any bike, enter it on the keypad, and once you get the green light, you're ready to go. I find that it's easiest to pull the bike out if you lift up under the seat and then pull back. I brought my own helmet for this ride, 
You do not legally need one to ride a bike in the District of Columbia if you're an adult. But remember that if you want a helmet, you do need to bring your own. When you're done with your bike, bring it back to the dock and push it hard to return it. If the return was successful, you'll get the green light and a pleasant beep. If you get a red light and a loud buzz, you need to try again. Before we wrap up, I want to give you a few additional bonus bike share hacks. The first is to download SpotCycle on your phone. This is an app that will show you the location of every bike share dock in the system and how many bikes are there and how many open docks are there. So you know in advance whether there'll be a bike there when you need to check one out and an open dock when you need to return it. I strongly recommend using this app and making sure that there's an open dock available at your destination. There is nothing more frustrating about Capital Bike Share than getting to where you're trying to go and finding the dock completely full of bikes. That said, my next hack is that you can avoid being penalized even in a situation where this happens. If you get to a dock and it's completely full, you can go to the kiosk and press the time credit button. Then swipe your credit card and it'll give you an additional 15 minutes to find another dock without charging you for the time. My last bonus hack isn't really a hack so much as it is to just say use common sense when using Capital Bike Share. Treat the bikes like you would treat your own bikes. Don't do anything that you wouldn't do back home. For example, don't just ditch your Capital Bike Share bike when you're going to run into a store or a Starbucks or to go look at the Lincoln Memorial up close. You might not think that anyone would want to steal one of these bikes, but if they do, you're going to be on the hook for $1,200, and that is just not worth the risk. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Trip Hacks DC logo, which is popping up at the bottom of the screen. And if you're coming to DC and you're interested in one of my tours, you can click on the picture of the Capitol Dome on the left side of my head. That'll take you to my website, triphacksdc.com, and you can see the tours that I offer. Enjoy your trip!